We go backstage, Steve Dewey left of screen, Baris Nazif right of screen, the world mid like middleweight title up for grabs soon, Hammer. Well, have a look at them, both boys moving well, Dewey, good strong hands, Baris in turn, both moving well at this point. Well, the bomb squad are ready, with the bomb, Steve Dewey about to make his way to centering. Michael Chabello ringside with the hammer, Mark Castanini. And here comes the former world champion, Steve Dewey. You talk about a big kicker. You talk about a man with big body shots. And you talk about Steve Dewey, hammer. Well, Dewey, after uh, quite an extensive boxing uh, journey, has now ventured back into kickboxing. He's taken on the likes of Lester Ellis and many, many others. Both of these gentlemen are worthy world champions, and this is going to be an absolute corker. And to the music of Destiny's Child, I'm a survivor, Barris Nazif makes his way to centering. Look at the entourage with Barris Nazif. They include the Phantom Pat Christoffi and world champion Gurkhan Oscar. Barris Nazif about to step up for one of the biggest tests of his life up against Steve Dewey. And look at the words on the back of Barris Nazif Hammer. Just do it, do it, do it. He's going to do a number he hopes on Steve Dewey here tonight. Well, some interesting graffiti on the back there of Barris Nazif. This one is going to get wild. It's going to get out of hand. You can bet you're going to see a battle of the super kickers. Let's go across to MC Jane. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout, sanctioned by the Boxing Authority of New South Wales. All professional bouts this evening are conducted under the rules of the Boxing Authority of New South Wales and the World Kickboxing Federation. Rounds will be scored on the 10 points must system. The Boxing Authority cut eye rule will also apply. The three knockdown rule in any one round will apply. A boxer can only be saved by the bell in the last round. The no foul rule will also apply. Representing the Boxing Authority of New South Wales tonight is Tony Batten. The medical officer in attendance is Dr. Miles Burkett, ladies and gentlemen, introducing out of the red corner. Having a 10 bounce, professional bounce, seven wins, he is Australian junior middleweight champion, trained by Vito Godinozzi. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve the Bomber, Dewey. And he's opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner. He is ISKA light welterweight champion, WKBF welterweight champion, going for his third world title, having held two. He is and hails from Turkey of origin, ladies and gentlemen, from Melbourne, Victoria. He is the Turkish Tiger, Baris Nesi. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get it on. Well, I'll tell you what, Hammer Barris, I've never seen him so psyched as he headbutts the camera. Headbutts it. Unbelievable. Jeez, uh, uh, the, uh, the old producers aren't going to be too happy about that one. And well, Billy Sullivan with, with both men in centering. Both received instructions prior to coming out. Are there any last minute questions? No. Okay, Look at fellas, the stare down between these two. I've never seen such intensity in the face of the, the usually line. reserved and very quiet Barris Nazif Hammer. Well, he's got the uh, the graffiti on the back. He's got the aggro. He's headbutted the camera. What else can happen here? With, Barris uh, Nazif. Pat Christoffi in uh, Barris's corner. Helping out, uh, taking over the charge from uh, Jamal Hassan, Barish's uh, trainer. And I tell you what, you talk about Mr. Controversy. He's also in the corner. Gurkhan Oskar Hammer. Certainly uh, Gurkhan pitching in there, but uh, Pat Christoffi has prepared up Barish Nazif for this fight. There's Gurkhan. Barish Nazif, the red and white Turkish tassels around his waist. Against the Wollongong one to kick a Steve Dewey. Barris comes charging out of his corner with a leaping front kick. Inside thigh kick there from Steve Dewey. And we are well underway. The worldwide middleweight title on the line. Can Barris Nazif make it world title number three? He won his first one against Julian Howe. His second one, if I recall, was against Krongsak Lek. Here at this venue, actually, Hammer. Exactly right. Uh, Barris has uh, certainly been a seasoned campaigner. Had a bit of a long layoff. But uh, he's back now and he's hungry 
from what uh, is the, now uh, trainer Chris, Pat Christoph has told me. There were some disappointing results against Mike Sambides and also in the Judgment Day finals. Uh, Barris Nazif is back in town. He's back in Sydney town, which has been a solid hunting ground for him in the past. Big right hand smack, bang off the kisser there by Nazif. But I tell you what, Duay will not go down without a fight. Don't forget, he went the distance, taking the best shots from Lester Ellis. Certainly, uh, Lester Ellis won't possess leg kicks like Barish or round kicks like Barish, but uh, the bomber has uh, certainly had an extensive uh, campaign of boxing. Steve Dewey would have sent him on many uh, Friday night uh, fight shows. Uh, Big on body ripper that he is. He's uh, done himself proud as in the boxing capacity. There's the big body shot right uppercut from Steve Dewey inside thigh kick. Nazik forces back into the neutral corner. A wild left hook there by Dewey. And you can see these two guys, such professional technicians. Inside thigh kick again there by Nazik. As if his last outing, he came up against the Greek flash Zambides, Mike Iron Mike Zambides. I'll tell you, one of the all-time great welterweight contests at the Festival Hall in Melbourne. It went the distance almost. Nazif getting dropped in the final round, Hammer. That was a uh, absolutely staunch battle, that one. That'll go down with Steve Vick versus Hector Penner, one of the great welterweight contests we've ever seen. End of the first round of action, nothing much. You a real feeling out process still, Hammer. Uh, uh, don't know about feeling out, Michael. I'm telling you, some of those thumping leg kicks that uh, Nezip landed on uh, on Dewey in that round will score well for him. But uh, we've got to keep in mind, we're in New South Wales, Michael. And uh, when it comes down to the judges, they're boy in the red corner there from New South Wales. Oh, yeah. I don't know how that's going to play on the scorecards. Tell me about it. Not to point the finger or make any aspersions, but you never know. Here we see the, the boys trading it up in the first round. Big uppercut, big round kick from Nezzi, big round kick from Dewey. They're going shot for shot. Both boys powering right up on, the, on their technique not uh, keeping anything in reserve for the latter rounds. They're letting it all go, hoping for an early knockdown, obviously. Once again, the big step up round kick from Nezip, but Duwe answered strongly with his hands. Duwe, all that uh, all that boxing uh, experience is certainly helping him in this one. We are ready to roll in the second round of action. Steve Duwe out of the red corner. Paris Nezip, who I formerly regarded as pound for pound, perhaps the most underrated and one of the finest kickboxers in Australia. On the comeback trail and looking for world title number three here tonight in front of a great crowd brought to you by Dr. Richard Bradford and the International Super Martial Arts League. And a big thank you to all the sponsors here tonight, especially Liverpool leader, Fairfield Advance and Liverpool City Council. Spitting back, it uh, didn't quite come off for Barish. He does possess some of those flashier kicks, Michael, that he can uh, pull out at uh, any given time and use. Well, the Taekwondo background of Baris Nazif as honed by Jamal Hassan, the Blitz Hall of Famer. You hear the clubbing of those uh, shin on shin kicks. Absolutely uh, big round kicks there, smashing in on each other. Nazif goes high, just tucking the right round kick under the left rib cage. Went for the inside thigh kick, didn't quite find the mark. Another good solid second round this one thus far. Both men bouncing around lightly on the balls of their feet, controlling the centre of the ring. Neither will give an inch. Good lead check there by Barris. Big right hand by Steve Dewey, then goes to the rib cage. Oh, he almost slipped the Nezip on his feet with the uppercut. Well, that might have hurt okay, Barris Nezip. He forces Dewey back against the ropes. Dewey all covered up, and Billy Sula separates both men. Nice short uppercut again there by Steve Dewey. Barris Nezip goes downstairs. Oh, big tub thumping right hand there by Barris Nezip. Another big right hand by Nazif came close, but no cigar just searing past the jaw of Dewey. You can actually absolutely hear the power as they're loading up on shot, on every shot that uh, both these guys throw. Almost trying for the inside thigh kick there was Barris Nazif. Snappy jab there by Dewey. Dewey getting very side on in his stance. The bomber Dewey just waiting to unload that big right oh, hand. Big right hand, smack bang on the side of the head there from Barris. Nezif. And there's the big leg kick, Hammer talked about with heaps of power, just like those you used recently, Hammer. Oh, down goes the way! He's got caught after down the bell. Down goes the way! He's got caught after He's the bell, out. Michael. Open the fridge, is out cold, it's good night, Irene! He hit him with a big buck toy, Hammer, and Dewey is out of it, but well, was it a leg blow? I'll tell you what, that was right on the knocker, possibly just after. Dewey is still out cold. Barris Nezip is jubilant in centre ring. 
He has rolled the crowd. Steve Dewey has been knocked into next gear. My word. Steve Dewey is not going anywhere. Right on the bell. He planted him like a tree. We'll just have another look at it. No sound, obviously, on the replay, but it was right, right on the bell. They were trading uh, heavy blows there. And again, we'll have a look at it. Big right hand. Well, Dewey was still squared up. He would have heard the bell and perhaps just dropped his guard or, or dropped his defences and not been tensed up and ready for that one, possibly. Dewey still on the canvas. But uh, you really got to keep your guard up and keep your uh, senses and uh, alertness around you at all times. Let's listen until now, you're now, totally Hammer. out of range of... Uh, Sorry, buddy. Let's listen. Oh. There it is. It was after the bell, Hammer. It was right on the, it was right on the knocker. The bell went. Three times world champ. Well done, Jamal. Huh? We can maybe hear that replay once more. Maybe we'll get it once more with the bell to give you another indication that. of the time lapse between the bell and the shot. Shot, bell shot. shot. Sort, of, sort of simultaneously. I don't know if Dewey would have uh, stopped to a halt. Only uh, only Steve will know that. How unfortunate for, for the fight to end this way. However, it was shaping up to be a great battle again. It really was. And, uh, you know, really how unfortunate for Dewey. Dewey still on the canvas, gathering his senses. We have a triple world champion now, embarrassed Nazif. You know, did he, uh, did he let his guard down? Did he just uh, shut down when he heard the bell and think, well, that's it, and, and attempt to start walking back to his corner? It really wasn't that late, Michael. Let's go to the replay maybe once more, Hammer, if we can get it up on screen and have a listen to the lapse between the bell and the shot that Nazareth knocked out Steve Dewey with, and he knocked him out clean. But there was a slight lapse between the bell and the shot. It was, it, was a, it was a second, didn't it? There really was a second. I really don't believe that Dewey would have put his guard down and been walking away. He was still trading, and I think he was just unfortunate to get caught with that one. You know, I really do. Hammer, let's go across to MC Williams. I should say MC James. I don't know why I'm calling him MC Williams, but MC James, and he might be having a bit of a chat with the new Triple World Champion, Barris Nazif. A controversial win at that, and Steve Dewey now back to his feet as well. Ladies and gentlemen, The judge's decision was that the punch was thrown just before the bell. WKBF, new world light middleweight wow. champion. Not a popular from decision, Melbourne, but he knocked him out cold nonetheless. Merci, Say and what gentlemen. you will, but Barris Nazif, folks, is now a triple world champion. Well, idiots throwing cans in the ring. I'll tell you what, if I get okay. hit by a can, Michael, I'm not going to be happy. There's some bananas out there, Hammer. They're always it. Sometimes, Barris, I know um, it's moments like these, I guess. You got people on the outside, you got the guy, you're the guy in the middle here. Your timing. Everything else, what they see and what you see, two different things. How do you feel about it after that? Listen, I know everyone's upset. Yeah, you can keep doing all you want. I know everyone's upset. I know Steve, um, it's his hometown. And, um, well, I, I respect all of you for supporting him like this. But the thing is, don't understand, if you remember the Costa Zoo fight, same thing happened. He was ready, he was in the heat of the battle, I got him, and that's the way it goes. Also, um, another thing maybe you won't understand, I trained three months heart and soul for this fight. Steve Dewey was imprinted in my brain. That's it, this is all the hype. You know, I came up here, done my business. Whoever doesn't like it, stiff, three-time world champion, I'll rematch him again if he likes.